the first question we will be answering is what are compounds compounds are a mixture of two or more elements whose atoms have joined together and chemically changed to form a new substance the compounds formed is differs from the chemicals present in it and might have totally different properties for example in the case of calcium phosphate commonly known as tooth enamel is made up of calcium phosphorus and oxygen calcium fizzes in water phosphorus catches fire easily and oxygen is a essential gas which we need in order to live but the enamel doesn't fizz or catch on fire but instead protects our teeth in this video we will be making and explaining the properties of the compound sodium chloride also known as table salt as the name suggests the compound is a commonly used chloride and is made up of elements sodium and chlorine salt is used on a variety of cuisines and put in almost every food that we eat as mentioned before the compound is very different from the elements it's made from chlorine is a green smelly poisonous gas while sodium is a highly reactive metal which fizzes in water and if left in open air would form sodium oxide in order to make this compound you need to have your sodium and chloride in separate containers then cautiously slice a small chunk of sodium and place it in its seal if this is not possible you can slice the sodium metal at last and put it in the v necked beaker or any beaker being used immediately so you need to add some chloride gas into the beaker and block the opening as quickly as possible then very carefully drop the sodium metal into the beaker we will need a drop of water to initialize the reaction and make it happen more quickly guys before doing this please see the hazards and risks listed further down in the video oh that was a long wait let's get right into it there are many hazards in any experiment to avoid the risk of being affected by these hazards please wear lab coat gloves and safety goggles at all times during the experiment this is because if any of these chemicals touch you or go into your eyes nose mouth more complicated reactions and side effects can take place try not to inhale any of the chlorine gas as it is a highly poisonous gas do not eat anything that is made from this reaction it is for scientific purposes only and has not been purified